going on, guys? This is not your ordinary guy. No, no, no. This is your motivation guy. That's right. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. And I'm here today, man. I'm so hyped, man. I just want you guys to keep going because, yo, I'm the one that believes in you. I really am. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be talking about a highly requested topic, and that's how to W key with calculated aggression. I mean, come on, man. Who doesn't love W. King? It's what makes Fortnite so intriguing, right? Just watching Mongo stump enemy after enemy. He makes it look so easy. Some of you may be wondering how he does all of this. And I assure you one thing. It's much more than just jumping into someone's box with good aim. It's about micro decisions that can ultimately result in you winning or losing, period. So in this video, that's exactly what we're going to be breaking down for you today. How to W. Key aggressively and win. Before we get into anything, my friends, you know, I know a lot of you guys, you know, are watching our videos and you're doing it without subscribing. Please remember, guys, to sub if you haven't already, especially if you enjoy our videos. Turn notifications on not to miss another upload. All right, bunch of crunch army. Where you at? It's time to sit back, relax and grab some of my favorite candy. Come on, y'all. What's that? It's that bunch of crunch. And let's get this going. I hope you scream that out. Also, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget that at 1 million subscribers, we're going to be making my own personal, inspirational story on my journey to how I made it to where I am today. And it's going to really inspire you guys to thrive and be successful, not only in this game, but also in life. So we encourage you guys to drop a sub, man. Tell your friends about us and help us reach our goal, okay? So we can help you reach yours. Our first tip, and arguably the most important, is being confident. Oh my goodness. Confidence is everything. Being confident when W King means you're comfortable with your aim. You know, you're comfortable with editing and building. Therefore, you believe in your abilities, knowing you're gonna win every fight you end up in. And I'm telling you, like, honestly, the games where I come in and I'm confident, man, that's usually when I do the best, period. Like, I don't think about it, I don't hesitate. I push on people, play aggressive, I play smart, but at the same time, I'm not overthinking it. And that's usually when I do my thing. And that's when you're gonna do your thing. All right, so with that being said, you need to make sure that you don't tip the scales and just end up being more cocky than confident. Assuming every enemy can react like you, yet, you know, you don't consider them better than you. All right, that's the other end of it. So let me give an example, all right? A cocky player will put themselves in an unnecessary, risky situation because they believe that they are the absolute best player in Fortnite. And no matter what happens, they will clutch and just win the engagement. They're gonna jump into a box causing an unnecessary 50-50. When taking the wall and going for the shots is a whole lot safer. If you're this kind of player, then changing up your style is going to be needed. Do that today, please. Thank you. The player that you want to be is confident. A player who knows that they could still go down, so they play with caution as well as confidence. Knowing you're not invincible, so you know you don't put yourself in any risky situations, is going to help you win more and more engagements. Let's take this clip from one of the best W keyers there is. Yo, that's Unknown Army. Here you can just see Unknown just picking up a kill and then lands a huge shot on his opponent. You can see his opponent trying to hold walls, but Unknown just uses every gun he can to spray his opponent's build, eventually leading to a kill. Now, this is a very simple but effective clip as Unknown first establishes the health advantage. Then he just sits there and he just sprays as many weapons as he can. It's the start of the match, so Unknown knows he can't have a lot of materials, so instead of jumping into the box and just creating unnecessary risk, he just sits back where it's safe and he continues shooting. This minimizes the risk of a 50-50 and results in a safe, secure kill. You can see at the start of this clip, Unknown is confident when W King and he's literally shooting a shockwave grenade so that he can just get, you know, in between these two players, then cleans them both up. The other good thing about Unknown, and it's something that you should try to integrate into your own game, is not hesitating. Woo! Being hesitant will mean, you know, you can miss out on an opportunity for a shot for peace control or maybe even total control of the fight. Guys, let me say this. If you only take one thing away from this video, let it be this. Do not hesitate. Do not hesitate. Everyone say it out loud. Say, I'm not going to hesitate. 
Like, don't hesitate and take control of the fight quickly. Okay, so what we mean, and what I'm talking about, when I'm talking about like take control, is gain these three things over your opponent, all right? Health advantage, high ground control, and win the mental battle. The first two are self-explanatory, okay? Getting the first tags in to gain the health advantage and building above your opponent to control and dominate the high ground, all right? The third one, though, is something a few of you may not really even have considered. Have you ever been playing Fortnite and you start fighting someone who, by the way that they build and edit, you actually believe that they're better than you and you start getting nervous? That's exactly what we mean by a mental battle. You want to come off as the best player, so you got to play with confidence. Use your build and edits to intimidate your opponent with the goal that they get nervous and just choke their edits, building and their aim. So before we move on, I just want to add a little something, and this is going to be for my high pink players out there. What's up, y'all? Keep grinding, man. I know it's hard, but you already have a disadvantage being on a high ping. So I wanted to give you a few tips on how to play on a higher ping, all right? Let me just clarify, if you're sitting around zero to 20 ping, then that's good. And if you're looking at more of the 20 to 40 ping, then that's about mid-tier. You know, we consider high ping players to be over 50 ping constantly. Now, these tips can still work for low ping players, so you gotta pay attention too. A few tips for being aggressive can be things like fake going for your opponent's wall. Now, I know it's such a struggle taking a wall on high ping, so you're better off just going for a fake out. Okay, so you gotta pull out your pickaxe and just fake and go for the wall. Bring the shotgun out and just go for the shot when your opponent opens the edit. If the angle that you are playing is slightly harder to go for a shot, fake taking the wall. When your opponent opens the wall to go for a shot, duck and get cover while doing this, shoot the wall with an AR or sub and just take it. Listen guys, you're gonna have a higher chance of taking the wall doing it this way. As your opponent isn't sitting there holding it, you know, and they actually are taking the shot instead. Okay, so this is the riskier play, I have to admit that. But if it results in you taking the wall, it can result in you winning the fight. So it's a risk worth taking. All right, my friends, the next tip is all about the best training techniques and methods which are going to take your aggressive gameplay to the next level. But first, all right, let me say this. If you guys need help improving things like, you know, mechanics or aim, check out ProGuys.com. Our services, man, range from online courses available 24-7 to live one-on-one -on -one coaching from our professional coaches whose aim is to help develop any aspect of your game, all right? So check out the link in the description. Effective training is figuring out what it's going to take your aggressive gameplay to the next level and just really build on it. Okay, so if you feel like you choke on edits under pressure, then doing an edit map will familiarize yourself with different edits. So when it comes down the moment that you need to use them, it really feels natural and really becomes second nature by this point. So if you feel like editing is your issue, we recommend Raiders Box Fight Practice Map 95648068. 2474. So we have featured this map before because of its repetition and we feel it's the best map to practice and improve edits. Maybe editing isn't your issue. What if it's your aim? All right, another good aim map is Skavak. But we've, we've spoken about these two maps in previous videos, so we're not gonna go into details about each of them, but you gotta know this, man, that these two are the best maps in the game right now for improving. Pinpointing these weaknesses are important as it allows for more efficient practice and you could just see improvement and increased success and fighting. One more thing before we move on, a really, really great skill to master is peace control. All right, guys, so peace control, simply put, is gaining control of build pieces, which will give you the advantage over your opponent in a fight. To be good at peace control, you need to understand how and where build pieces are placed, and you need to be able to predict your opponent's movements so you can just place the pieces first. You're gonna see it from some of the best players in Fortnite like Benji Fishy and some we've already looked at, Unknown Army. A lot of you may already know something about peace control and so we're gonna look at an example so even if you think you know how to do peace control, you gotta pay attention because you may learn something. That's why you're a pro guys and that's why you're listening to your motivation guy. All right, here we go. So you can see in this clip, a player is pushing unknown. The first mistake this player makes was pushing unknown. <laughs> No, seriously, what this player did wrong was not establishing the health advantage first. He decided to hit some bounce pads and Unknown was getting easy shots in as the other player couldn't even build to defend themselves. So he hits him hard. They get into a little build fight. Unknown builds up and places a cone at the top of his stair and his opponents. Already, this is controlling the fight and establishing peace control. Then he places a wall between the two stairs so he can just open up and have easy shots on his opponent. 
It doesn't stop there though. <laughs> a final wall placed behind his opponent so he cannot get out of the box. This means Unknown has total dominance. Then he controls the fight throughout and then picks up the easy kill to finish off. Okay, so as you can see here, and I mean like right here, his opponent did not stick to the three fundamentals of aggressive play and he lost against the big unknown. Clearly peace control, my friends, is going to be a massive attribute this season and you need to get on top of it as soon as possible if you can't do it yet. If you guys would like us to make a video on peace control, let us know in the comments down below. Awareness during fights is very important and that's why next up is the 30 second rule. Here we go. So the 30 second rule is this, all right? It's the idea that the first 30 seconds of a fight, you're gonna be safe from third parties for the most part, but sometimes this isn't the case. In this time, the goal is to secure the kill as quickly as possible. This is from the moment that you first start shooting. Okay, so if there are other players around, it's generally safe to say that the first 30 seconds is gonna be safe. If your fight is prolonged, then whoop, that's gonna be risky. The risk of other players getting involved goes up like dramatically and no one likes getting third party and you know, that usually will happen. Now, we don't want you to turn into a madman and just like mindlessly W key and put yourself into tricky situations because you gotta get the kill in 30 seconds. I'm not, I'm not saying that, all right? <laughs> we just want you to keep the idea of a third party in the back of your mind to try and just clean up the kill as quickly as possible, but still play smart. So when you hit the 30 second mark, your awareness needs to kick in, man, like a whole nother level. And you need to explore the possibility of a third party. This can mean before trying to pressure your opponent's wall, you know, you, you box yourself up first so you can't get surprised by any third party fire. So you gotta be aware of where the potential third party could come from, and that's also very important. If you're fighting outside, you know, a popular POI, then there is a really good chance someone's gonna come out there to get involved. So positioning yourself away from those areas will lessen your chance, obviously, of being shot in the back. Let's take a look at our final tip, my friends, which is when to stop W King. This is so important. I hope you're still here. Knowing when to stop W King is just as important as pushing everybody. You need to know when it's time to stop. This all depends on how late in the game it is, how many players are left alive, and your positioning on the map. If you're around the edge of the zone and it's a stacked lobby with around 30 players left, the chances of a third party is super high. Not even just a third party, you could even get lobby focused and that would be a wrap. Lobby focus basically means more than two players shooting at you at one time, it sucks. This normally occurs when in the late game and when two players are fighting, this means they're exposed and would make an easy target at this point. All it takes is really for one person to shoot at you fighting and then attracts more and more players. They end up getting on you and now you're lobby focused. Just remember these three things when deciding if or if not W King is the right answer. First, positioning and timing. If you are not deep in the safe zone, it's likely that the area around you is contested with a few players who are also rotating out of the storm. This is a risky play, so unless it's needed, you know, it may be a good idea just to slow down. Knowing the amount of players left, depending on the zone you're in, will be a clear decider if you should carry on the W key or not. After the third zone, things start getting a little bit tight, so depending on the amount of players left, it may be once again a good idea to slow down. All right, guys, so that's all we have on how to improve your calculated aggression in Fortnite, but listen, we gotta do a recap. Stick around for this, here we go. When playing aggressive, play with confidence. Woo! But make sure that you don't get cocky. <laughs> confidence is gonna help you get inside your opponent's head, and that's gonna result in you winning more fights. So we recommend training things like your aim, building and editing. Once you feel comfortable with that, we recommend you looking the peace control as it is a great skill to master for aggressive gameplay. All right, guys, remember, the first 30 seconds of a fight is the safest. Anything after the 30 seconds, it's a risk that you're about to be third party. Deciding to carry on or slow down is very important. Remember, positioning, timing, and the amount of players remaining, these three key details are really gonna help you decide that. All right, guys, once again, this is not your ordinary guy. No, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen, Bunch of Crunch Army. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Keep eating that Bunch of Crunch and never give up, man. Listen, we keep our head up, Bunch of Crunch Army. We're here to change the world one person at a time by spreading motivation and love. That's what we do. Thank you so much for watching till the very end. I'm so proud of you. If you have enjoyed, please slap a like on the video, subscribe with notifications on so that you don't miss another upload and comment down below. We have a great community. We have a great family. Bunch of Grunts Army. Let's get it.